Paper 2 SPM Okay Here I have for you A clone question Based on the year 2006 Okay Now You see I've given you The two formulas here The main formula A Arithmetic progression Let's see how we apply these formulas okay now this question arithmetic progression or geometric progression in paper 2 comes out in section a the compulsory section so it is important that you know how to do it all right now according to the question you have read company alpha sells P motorcycles in the first week and every subsequent week it sells Q motorcycles so if we use the formulas for arithmetic progression the first term A is represented by P the common difference D is represented by Q. So, you are told that the sales in the 8th week is 480 motorcycles. So, 8th week, T8. T8 is equal to A plus 8 minus 1 D. Now, a is P. A minus 1, 7. D is Q. Q is the common difference. Every week, the sales increases by Q motorcycles. So, we have the first equation. P plus 7 Q equals the 480. Because the 8th week, the sales is... 480 motorcycles so P plus 7 Q equals to 480 okay P plus 7 Q equals to 480 that is equation 1 now many occasions our working is based on simultaneous equations for arithmetic progression Okay, now you are told the sales for the first 10 weeks is 3,800. That means S10. S10 is 3,800. Sales for the first, total sales for the first 10 weeks. Okay, we put into this formula and simplify the equation. Okay. So S10 is equal to N over 2, 10 over 2, right? 2 times A, A is P, plus N minus 1, that is 10 minus 1, D, D is Q. So this is equal to 5 bracket 2P plus 9Q that is the total sales for the first 10 weeks and the total sales is 3,800 so 5 times 2P plus 9Q equals to 3,800 see 
Okay, you get it? Now we divide 3,800 divided by 5, you get 2P plus 9Q equals to 760. This is your equation number 2. There, you get this. 2P plus 9Q equals 760. Equation number 2. Okay, this is the technique to get equation number 2. Got it? Okay. Let me erase this. Okay, right. Now we are going to use simultaneous, the technique of simultaneous equations. Equation 1, this is equation 2. Now we make these two equal, so equation 1 times 2, 2 times P, 2P, 2 times 7Q, 14Q, 2 times 480960 equal, that is equation 3. Now, we can find the value of Q, equation 3 minus equation 2. Equation 3 minus equation 2. So what do we get? 2P minus, sorry, 2P minus 2P, 0. 14Q minus 9Q, 5Q equals to 960 minus 760, 200. 5Q is 200, therefore Q equals to 200 over 5, that is 40. The value of Q is 40. Now we are supposed to find the value of P. So what we do? We take this value and substitute here yeah. to find the value of P. So by substituting Q equals to 40 into equation 1, we have P plus 7 times 40 equals to 480. 7 times 40, 280. Therefore, P is equal to 480 minus 280 equals to 200. That is your answer value for P. Therefore, P is equal to 200, Q equals to 40. That is part A. Now, part B, we are talking about another company. Okay? Company Beta. Now, this company, in the first week, it sold 160 motorcycles. And every subsequent week, the sales increase by 44 motorcycles. Therefore, the question is now, in the end week, the, the, the sales in the two companies are equal. In the end week. So, what is Tn? Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 D. Okay? For company alpha, A is 200. D is 40. Okay? For company beta, A is 160. D, the common difference is 44. So we put into this formula. Okay, this is for company beta a plus n minus 1 d 160 plus n minus 1 times 44 now for company alpha a plus n minus 1 d a is 200 d is 40 so this is the sales in the end week for company beta this is the sales for company alpha Right. They are supposed to be equal. So we put them equal. 
Okay, let's expand and find the value of n. Okay. 160 plus n times 44, 44n. Minus 1 times 44, 44. Equals to 200 plus n times 40, 40n. Minus 1 times 40, 40. So what do you get? 200 minus 40, 160. 160 minus 160, no more. See, no more. This appears. Now we have 44n minus 44 equals to 40n. So plus 40n bring to this side. Minus 40n equals to negative 44 bring to the other side is 44 44n minus 48n is 4n 4n equals to 44 n equals to 44 over 4 equals to 11 that is your answer so in the 11th week the sales is the same the number of motorcycles sold in both companies are the same. I hope you get it. It is not that difficult. It's just interpreting. Read the sum and interpret. Try to interpret as clearly as possible and see which formula should be applied. And you should be able to get the answer. Just believe in yourself. You can do it. Thank you.